It is time for this week's Weather Wednesday, and for that, we're talking atmospheric rivers with Tavian Whitehurst. Since before the new year began, the West Coast, especially California, has been barraged by back to back storms. This is due to weather phenomena called atmospheric rivers. While there has been dangerous aerial flooding from the precipitation, these storms are essential sources of water needed throughout the year. Meteorologist Rich Marriott further breaks down what an atmospheric river is and how it affects the region. Atmospheric river may sound like something new, but it's really just another name for the Pineapple Express. This is what we used to call the drenching warm rains that flow from just to the north of Hawaii. Researchers in the 1990s determined that these narrow bands of moisture over the oceans constantly transport huge amounts of water from the tropics to the mid-latitudes where we live. These plumes of water vapor are narrow, usually only several hundred miles wide, but thousands of miles long, resembling a river in the sky. Despite being narrow, they carry unbelievable amounts of water. The largest atmospheric rivers may carry the equivalent of two Amazon rivers, almost 10 trillion gallons of water per day. Most of this water vapor stays in the clouds until it collides with land, like our west coast. Since all this water is low in the atmosphere, it's forced up over the mountains, and in the process, much of that water is dropped on the west-facing slopes. The most destructive atmospheric rivers are those that stall over one area and persist for days. However, weaker atmospheric rivers are important to our water supply. 30 to 50 percent of West Coast rainfall comes from atmospheric rivers. Now take a look at just how much rain the state has gotten over the past three weeks. Over 16 inches of rain in Oakland averages five and a half inches per week in an area that's used to getting none. Records are breaking almost daily and many cities are reaching their annual rainfall in just this month. The rainfall has also worked wonders on drought conditions. Areas of extreme drought have almost completely diminished and the snowpack in the mountains is also recovering as well. As sunspots have gotten nearly 100 inches of snow, getting closer to 300 inches of snow total. These conditions have yet to let up, so we can only hope that everyone out there is staying safe and the state can make use of the excess water. No doubt about that. Tavian, thank you. If you have weather questions, we want to answer them for you on Weather Wednesday. Just text us your questions to 865-637-1010.